Hey peeps, I thought I would just kind of hang out for a little bit with you guys. We haven't done just a general chatty kind of like what I've been reading, buying, uh, just kind of doing and going through personally. We haven't done anything like that in a little bit. So I thought I would do that today. It's very gray and rainy and my candle order came in from October Occult and I have a discount code for you if you want to get any goodies. I'm very, very excited to share and talk about that. So we're going to do that in a little bit, but I wanted to start by talking about just kind of like general update stuff for me and also what I've been reading and some makeup stuff that I'm obsessed with. So this is like general, it, we're not going to be talking tarot really in this video. So if you're not interested in that, um, go check out my spring deck favorites video, which is also uploading today. So where do we start while I'm talking? It's almost my birthday and I am a Taurus. As you guys know, Taurus sun, Scorpio moon, Sagittarius rising. My Venus is in Taurus too. So you all know that I love to like unbox things and I love makeup. I love vintage styling. I also love goth and rockabilly styling. And uh, I've really been like having a fun, as you can see, I, I did some Betty Bangs uh, last night. I've been having fun just enjoying um, in my downtime, having fun with that and just, and just loving it and not, not feeling like um, it's something that I need to edit you know, and I've been working a lot with Venus over the last few months, as you guys know, and um, that's been very intense and beautiful. And I've realized like how much I haven't allowed myself to be soft and gentle, like within myself towards myself, but also just in like really letting myself enjoy having fun with my look and my style and um I, I don't know. There's just been like this real softening and beauty. And so I've really been loving um, color in regards to my lipsticks again. So I kind of go through like times where it's more about the eyes and then times where it's more about the lips for me. And I've really, really been enjoying um, these kind of like oxblood tones and giving myself like just permission to have fun with that and love that you know um my look is like i do this look all i do i shouldn't say this particular look but i'm i'm pretty much to the hilt all the time and i live in rural new england and so um that does not get always responded to well or comfortably within my physical community and sometimes even i after all these years of work have to remind myself to allow myself to be myself, even if it makes the fellow soccer moms uncomfortable. So I have been really loving, just just enjoying my beauty, my beauty ritual. And I've talked about this on the channel over the years too. I know that many of you are in the same boat with me of wanting to embrace that and uh, realizing that it's a really large part of your spiritual practice too. So like today I am wearing my all time favorite, you guys know I always come back to this, this is my ride or die lipstick, Motez Dom Bloodsucker. This stuff just lasts forever. I will put a link to this one down below because I get asked about it all the time. I don't make money off of those links. I don't have a discount code for that like I do for the candles right now. Um, but I do love this lipstick and they are a small business. They're goth focused. They're very vampire sans Dracula in the early nineties. And I love them. And also I wear their lashes. When you see me wearing lashes in the videos, most of the time, unless they're wispies, I'm wearing um, Motet's Dom Vampire series. This is, today I'm wearing Undead, but I really love their Sire lashes, but they're sold out right now. I just about had a cow because I went on yesterday to order some more Sire and they were sold out and I died. I'm still here though. I didn't leave my body, but, um, yeah. So Motet's Tom Bloodsucker. I've been wearing this more over the last week. Um, so yeah, more over the last week. I really haven't worn a lot of bright red lipstick this year, which is new for me. I've been wearing a lot of like ox blood tones and I kind of found like, I, I don't know for a long time. I thought I couldn't pull these colors off, but 
there's something about these oxblood tones that I'm really, really obsessed with. So I've been wearing About Face Hush Tonight, you've seen in some videos. And then this one's, let me see, Take Aim. Take Aim, I've had for a little while. Hush Tonight, I got while Ulta was having a sale. Um, another fun fact about being a Taurus is we pretty much only buy things when they're on sale. So uh, I rarely ever pay full price for anything. So um, these two, I've really been enjoying. Now, here's the thing about About Face, which I know Halsey owns or whatever. I don't even listen to Halsey, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't care. I just want my lipsticks to work. You know, I'm the same with Jeffree Star. I know that he's controversial. I don't care. I want my lipsticks to be good. And the lipsticks that he makes, in my opinion, for my pH level and my skin, his lipsticks last the longest, feel the best on, and they're the best all around. Other than, I do have to say, Motet's Dawn takes the cake with this red. So these two, you've seen me wear in videos, and I'm really enjoying them. Also, side note for my makeup junkies, my fellow makeup junkies, um, I am now listing in my videos, if I'm wearing lipstick and like an eyeshadow that stands out, I'm listing the lipstick I'm wearing and the palette because I get so many private messages about it. <laughs> so if you are wondering, from about late fall of last year forward, I list in the description box what I'm wearing for lipstick. So you can go and find it yourself. Some things have been discontinued, some things they no longer make, but yeah. Um, so these two, love. Also, if you don't like the vanilla scent that pretty much everyone seems to put in their liquid lipsticks, I do like that Halsey has peppermint oil instead. That's actually very enjoyable. Um, of the two, like if I was going to die, I, oh, well, not if I was going to die, no. if I only had one choice, if we were in an apocalypse and I could only bring one of these two with me, I think Hush Tonight would just slightly win. And that's this one. But yeah, if you've been, if you like want to mix up your makeup, routine your lipstick like try out this oxblood color because i'm like about it it's changing my life here um okay so this is um cad von d's no it's not cad von d anymore it's now k von k, no oh my god oh my god guys working much great so freaking real I'm going to start over. This is now the KVD brand. I really liked Kat Von D's line when she was in charge. I think the formulas were better. The price was better. And she is goth herself. So she was really preaching to the choir with me. Like everything that she was creating are things that I like. The tattoo liner used to be amazing. Um, a lot of her eyeshadow palettes. I used to have all of her eyeshadow palettes. Um, I, I just feel like she really catered to the goth girls and boys in her and everywhere, everything else in between there, um, in her, of her generation. And so when it switched over to KVD, I was really loath to, <sighs> it's just not the same. It's not the same. And I understand more people are enjoying it now who are younger and that's great. And I love you guys and have fun. But like, for me, it's not quite the same, but um, she did have a sale recently, or not she, they had a sale recently, KVD had a sale recently of, and they brought back some of the old favorites, of which I have a major obsession. I've talked about this in previous videos, and I, that I, I stocked up as much as I could because they were $5 each. Um, but I did try this, their newer version of liquid lipstick. Um, I've tried like a few. I really, this is dead nettle. Just side note. What the looks, the lipsticks look like in the new containers, they look nothing like on. And so this dead nettle color, I was like, oh, I don't know. It's really like, it's not quite it for me. But when I tried it on, it darkened up into this almost oxblood color, but a little bit lighter. And I have really, really been enjoying this. So dead nettle and midnight flocks by KVD. I have been actually wearing a fair amount. I don't like the formula as much as when Kat Von D owned the brand. Um, they did some new lightweight thing and you have to apply a lot of layers to get the same color payoff, which actually makes it more drying than the old formula and whatever. The Dead Nettle, which is this one, and the Midnight Phlox used together as kind of an ombre tone create this beautiful almost oxblood, but not quite. And I've been enjoying playing with that too. The other makeup thing, oh, two makeup things, but one of them I don't have. Um, I recently tried NARS Creamy Concealer, which is what I'm wearing today in the shade Custard. 
oh my God, life changing. For years I've been a Tarte concealer girl and I am changing over. I will never go back. I will never go back. NARS, sometimes NARS is a luxury makeup brand and sometimes it ain't worth the price to me. But when it comes to blush and now I know concealer, NARS takes the cake. Worth the investment 100%. I need to use so little of it. I get so much payoff and it doesn't settle in my fine lines. It's a big deal. The other thing is this Art of Darkness also by Halsey. This is not lipstick. This is black, uh, like a liquid eyeshadow that dries up matte. It's the perfect base if you want to get a really intense smoky eye. And I've been doing a lot of smoky eyes lately and this has been my base and I am obsessed with it. This is worth the price if you want to do smoky eyes and you want a black that has intensity, but you can blend it out and smudge it and it doesn't crease. So yes, you can use a black liquid lipstick to do this, but what I have, because I have hooded eyes, they crease throughout the day. This stuff doesn't crease. This was a worthy investment. Well worth the money. Let's talk books and we'll do candles last. Okay, so I have one kind of spiritually focused book. This is Servants of the Sacred Dream by Linda Hartley. Um, one of my dear friends and... Um, co-collaborators sent this to me to read and I've really been enjoying this. If you're if you're doing some sacred feminine focused work, um, then you're gonna enjoy this book. So this has been one that I've been reading this season and yeah, it's amazing. I finished reading Sally Hepworth's The Soulmate. This is not a romance novel, this is a thriller. This book is so freaking good. It made me like rethink a lot of how I've approached relationships in my life in the past. And it also has this murder twist where like you kind of know what's happened, but you're seeing multiple perspectives. So this, this book, is, I loved this book. It's so, I really, really highly recommend it. It's so, 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 so freaking good. And there was something that I, did I, there was a passage I put up on one of my Instagram stories because it was so um, powerful. Let me see if I can find it really quickly now. I take notes in all my books because books are friends to me. You guys know this. No, I can't find it right now. But there's a passage that I felt like from the dead woman's perspective that I felt like was so powerful around how we see things from our perspective and we assume that that's how it is. Like that's the truth. And from her perspective now having died, she sees things from every perspective, from all perspectives, which I have found to be true for my medium work. So I love that that was in the book. But when you see it that way, you start to see how other people are experiencing or how they experienced a situation with you. And there's this profound kind of release that ends up happening. You start to understand everything happens exactly as it's supposed to. And there's no villain or angel in a story right? So this book was really thought provoking, really mind blowing, absolutely loved. I do recommend giving this a read, especially if you kind of want a thriller, um, like a little bit of escapism, because it's not like super serious. It's a very light and easy read, but very enjoyable. I, I have a book on the uh, nightstand back there, The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. I'm not going to get up and grab it. I'll just say it to you now. This is about like a group of teens who survive this, um, it looks like they survived, but there may be some menacing things that have happened. And now we're seeing them in their 30s, kind of late 20s, early 30s, I think, um, kind of having to come to terms with some things. It's a little bit of a thriller, but it's also really interesting. That's an enjoyable read. Not as good as The Soulmate if you're having to make a decision about what you're going to get. But that was that one's been really enjoyable. So as part of my it's gray and gloomy this spring, super uber goth mode. I have been nonstop watching Hammer Horror movies, um, which is part of why my hair is like this, because let me just say to you that Hammer Horror movies and anything Vincent Price and Christopher Lee, anything film noir is just my cup of tea right now. I go through this every year. I, I know I'm like, oh, I'm in that phase again. Here we go. It's going to be Betty Bangs and big falls and poofy hair and red lipstick and red nails and oh my, that kind of thing. So I've really been enjoying when I do my makeup in the morning, putting on a Hammer Horror movie and kind of having that be a little bit uh, evocative of the mood that I want to be with that day. Also, you all know I love uh, Francis Ford Coppola's 
Bram Stoker's Dracula and I watch that a lot this time of year too or well I shouldn't say this time of year when it's gray and moody out like it's been so I purchased two books a little while ago but I've really been diving into them now and so this is the Dark City book The Lost World of Film Noir it's kind of, they're both kind of coffee table books but they're really nice when you want to get like that kind of creative look at that mm. When you want that kind of creative inspiration and there's these gorgeous reproductions of stills from the movies like i have been enjoying kind of reading some of the anecdotes but also just getting inspired by the black and white photography and also like these freaking poster covers are everything right they're so gorgeous so this is um dark city by eddie muller and I've loved having this on the coffee table, but also I've really been enjoying actually reading it and perusing through it. So I also purchased Styling the Stars by Angela Cartwright and Tom McLaren. Maureen O'Hara did the forward for this. I love Maureen O'Hara. When I'm a redhead, it's always about that for me. Um, and this just has very, like, this is different anecdotes from how, you know, styling the stars, what went into their beauty routines and how they were styling them for specific movies. And it's really fun um, to get a chance to look at that. Now Liz, Liz is in here, obvi. Um, let me find her. I should have bookmarked her, I'm sorry guys. Called Mom Life. Yeah, but this has been really fun to look through. If you're a cinemaphile like me, like old school Hollywood cinemaphile, um, yeah, you will really enjoy looking at this. But where the heck is Liz? Come on, Liz. You know, I'm not really a huge Marilyn girl, even though I know she was so popular and so many people feel she was the epitome of beauty and I love her, but I'm more of a Jane Russell girl myself. Um, and I'm most of all, always a Liz Taylor girl. Oh my God, now I can't find it, guys. Give me one, I'm gonna try and then I'll give up. But there's all different kind of stars here, male, female, and you get to look at how they were styled for up, you know, for the movies that they were in, what went into the styling, just some little like tips and tricks that, yeah, now I can't find her. She's in here somewhere. Liz is in here. Oh, there's Betty Davis and whatever happened to baby Jane in here too. Paul Newman's in here. Robert Redford, like I can't find Liz right now, but anyhow, this is Styling the Stars. I've been enjoying peeking through that as well. That's been a lot of fun. I've just been in this really, I don't, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I'm in this really beautiful space of just being really comfortable in my skin and really empowered for the first time in my life. You know, the last eight months of, eight months or so now of just being single on my own as a mom. I mean, I've been a full-time single mom for a long time now, um, but just like really, I just feel settled and empowered and really comfortable in my own skin, comfortable with who I am, empowered in my work. I really, really, so much of my life is so focused on my spiritual practice and my clients um, and the work that I do. And so then in my free time now, there's this time and space to just really explore these fun kind of things like hammer horror movies, vintage styling, you know, and of course listening to all my goth favorites, um, which I should say Ritual Howells has a new um, EP out and I don't know how I feel about it. I like two of the songs, a couple of the other ones are not it for me, but I love how Ritual Howells combines all my favorite things about trad goth music with a little bit of rockabilly. So you kind of get this like twang to it. I don't know, I love Ritual Howls. Um, if I remember, I will try to put a Spotify link in the description box below. Um, because I do think they're work worth a listen if you like that kind of music. So this is what it's really all about because I wanted to unbox this with you guys because I am a Taurus. Y'all know I love to have goodies and get goodies and I can't wait for them to come and I get super excited when I get to open up packages and things like that. So October Occult, um, she is a small one woman business. You guys know I've talked about her on the channel for a while now, since I think January or December. And she's she was, has wanted to thank all of you guys for all of your support. So she is offering a discount code and that's in the description box below. It's just my name, Racine. You do have to spell it correctly, which again, will be in the description box below. Um, and you can get a discount if you would like to order any candles from her. So 
October Occult is, she is a, a wonderful witchy goddess herself. She also loves horror movies and a little bit of goth, es goth aesthetic. She also does like dark cottage core well and dark academia, I feel like. And what I love about her candles is they last forever. They're uniquely scented and they don't give me headaches. Um, which I really, really appreciate because she uses essential oil. She uses quality wax and they're wood burning wicks. So I love her stuff. I also love when you order from her, she has these really sweet stamps that she puts all over the packaging. Um, but I ordered recently from her. Now she does take requests. Look at this guys. Yeah, she's everything. Ordering from her is an experience, which is one of my favorite things in the world. I, I love the experience. I would rather pay and have the full package experience than save money, buy something cheap and not get the whole experience. But um, she takes requests based on specific horror movies. And I did Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, I also, you saw in the last kind of non-witchy chat video I did that I had purchased one um, after the movie, The Runner, which I'm obsessed with. And um, she had done one for me that, actually ended up being so in alignment with Venus and its scent and its scent that I actually have used it for my offerings to Venus and it's yeah I could talk I'm gonna talk forever I need to stop okay so it says stay spooky there so cute that's in every box that you order so we got some little stickers so I put my request in for Dracula along with my regular order now Midnight Society is Okay, here's the thing. Midnight Society is my candle that I burn all the time by her. I burn it every day. It's always lit on this altar here when I'm working. And I thought that I I burned it too much and I need to place yet another order. But <laughs> I had to reorder Horror Movie Night because that's Vincent's and my favorite candle to light together when we watch movies. So that's in here. I can't, I ordered something else too. And she has new, um, and also like black, can we just... Um, she has some new packaging for the larger size. So this is how they come. I mean, come on guys, look at this. I freaking love her. I, lo I just love having the experience. So if you are a candle girl like me, um, you, you may really find it worthwhile to purchase from her. And now you have a discount code too. So the Taurus and me salutes the Taurus and you save that money. Um, but get quality product. So this is the new packaging for the larger size. So Horror Movie Night, this is Vincent's number one favorite scent. And I, I do love this one too. It's butter, popcorn, brown sugar, sea salt, and movie theaters. And that's her label. And then inside, you, she always has something beautiful and unique and special on the top there. And then you have that wood burning wick. Oh my God. Oh, they smell so good. Even congested, I can smell them. So the nice thing with let me say this, if you like Maker of Waxed Goods candles, her candle scent is actually a little bit stronger, but it's not cloying. I love Maker of Waxed Goods, but sometimes they're not quite scented strongly enough for me. Um, October Occult has that really nice intensity of smell, but it's not like Bath and Body Works cloying scented. It's gonna fill up the room gently and kind of hold that gentle scent. And then when you blow the candle out, you do have that nice, you still have that nice lingering in the air for a time. So this is horror movie night. And so it's going to be so freaking stoked about that. I mean, look at that. That's oh, so why I wanted to unbox it with you guys because I get so excited. Okay. Here it is. All right. This is the Dracula one. So you can special order. So you send a, her a private message on her Etsy shop, or I believe you can use Instagram as well. And you can put your horror movie request in. And then she handcrafts a unique scent profile for that candle, right? And so like, as you can see, I'm really in a Dracula mood right now. Okay, so here's what she chose for scents. Oh my God, look at the packaging. <gasps> okay. Musk, vetiver, cedar, casket, clove, Transylvanian moss. Oh my God. <gasps> Guys, it's so beautiful. I don't even wanna burn it. Look at how gorgeous that is. Is this not? Dracula everything. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't wait to burn. I'm going to have to burn this after I stop recording. 
It smells like what I think Mads Mikkelsen as Hannibal smells like. Sexy, slightly scary, ruthless, villainous man. Oh my God. Oh, she knocked it out of the park. I can't wait to burn this. But I'm also like, I don't want to lose that. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, she knocked it out of the park. Okay, this is everything. Look at the packaging for that one. Obsessed. And then I did order two smaller tins. So what I do like about October Occult Shop is you can order smaller tin sizes to make sure that you like them. So an example of this for me is her tarot and tea scent, which I actually love, but I was a little bit worried about might give me, um, not because of her, but just sometimes vanilla will give me a headache if it's not done well balanced. And so I, I purchased a tin of that just to, or I ended up with a tin of that just to make sure that, um, it wasn't going to cause me to, you know, it wasn't going to be too much. And you know, sometimes some scents you just don't like, and people can go too sweet with vanilla. Even this horror movie night, it's not too sweet. It's not a sweet vanilla. Um, and so I got it in the tin and that is next on my list to purchase the full size of because I love it. So these little tins burn forever and so do the larger size. I know I'm, I'm obsessed with her line though. So this is Hidden Library, Aged Books, Amber, Fire Embers, Spiced Plum, and Cedar. Oh, this one, see, I wanted to double check this one because sometimes Amber, again, Amber and Cedar are another one where I need to double check them. Oh, that's nice. See, look at that. I think this coffee grinds on the top. I just stuck my nose in it. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that's going to be, that one's going to be fun. So this is Hidden Library. See what I mean? She gets dark academia just right. And look at the little, yeah, it's everything. Even if I was alone, I would be taking this long to enjoy them. It's called Hedonism. It's called Venus as your ruling planet. I be the witch of the wood, haunted forest, folklore, cypress, resinous earth. This one I wanted to try too. So, oh, look at that. Oh my God, this might be my secret favorite, like stand out. I don't know, I gotta smell Dracula again. Let me smell Dracula again. Oh, I don't know, I love both of them. Oh my God, this is like pine, pine pitch, dried leaves. I feel like I'm standing in the middle of the forest in November, right before it starts to snow. Oh my God, yeah, that I'm getting a large size of, okay. So this one is I Be the Witch of the Wood in case you like more of that beautiful like forest pine scent. And you know what this this would let you could totally take this over into um, like Christmas holiday season. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> oh my God. All right. I'm already ready to place another order and I just unboxed <laughs> the last order, but I have to get my um, Midnight Society. Oh my God, I just lost the name of it. Freaking Mercury and Retrograde is getting to me. Okay, anyhow, candle unboxing complete. If you wanna purchase some yourself or if you just want to use the discount to purchase again from October Occult, that's gonna be listed down below. I've never had a discount code to give anyone before, so a little bit, I'm kind of stoked about that. And I'm also excited that all of us who have felt called to are able to support such a worthy business. It's so exciting. Um, a fellow witch, and I don't know, those things just make you feel good, don't they? It always feels good when you can support a fellow witch and someone who's part of the community and they're really crafting quality product. You all know that I would not tell you I love something if I didn't really love it and if I didn't think that the quality was there. The quality is here. And if you are someone who does get headaches from certain scents, I like that she uses the essential oils. It's just a little bit, it helps you not get headaches from those kind of chemical based scents. So um, that those are my thoughts on that. Also, like I said, I did with the runner, they work really well for ritual offerings. I have to say these candles, I think because they're crafted with the intent, just the intention and love. And the <clears throat> then when you bring that to tarot, up to tarot, to tarot, yes, to tarot work and to ritual work as a witch, they lend themselves very well to that. 
I also like the unique scent profiles to work with specific forms of deity like I be the witch of the wood I would actually use if I wanted to honor Satan because that's very much a scent that I associate with that specific god. Um, you could also use that for Pan or um, the Lord of the Forest, whatever entity you would like to attach there. But I like the specific candles for specific faces of deity that I only use for that deity. It's the offering for them. It's in their honor. Really beautiful. Um, and also, if you're some, if you're a witch who likes candle magic, and I have to say, candle magic is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I've loved staring into candle flames since I was little, and there's just something about working with the element of fire that is so pleasing to me in ritual. Um, and it's, it's just nice to have a really beautiful candle to do that with. So I wanted to share that unboxing with you guys. Also that I have that code because, hey, enjoy it if you feel called to use it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me just while I've been kind of randomly chatting about Hammer Horror Movies, Goth Style, Lipstick, Books, and Candles, which is pretty much my life. <laughs> So I hope you all are doing well in the world. Let me know how you're doing this spring. What's the weather like where you are? How are you faring with it? Like I said, very, very gray and rainy here. It's been raining every day for two weeks. That is not normal for New England in the spring. Uh, it's definitely been a unique experience, but um, the spiritual path and uh, a great lipstick will always support you through it. So I am sending you guys, as always, much love and many blessings. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.